So guys, Brandon back uh, in the basement. Got another project today. Today, um, got a broken arming sword. My arming sword, I broke it in Reno during a fight. So uh, we're gonna try to fix it today. Got all the parts here. Um, so yeah, you can see right there. Now it'll just snap right off. I don't know if you can see that without the light, but. So we're gonna attempt to uh, dismantle this the handle. Um, weld these back together and see if we can make it work and give it a shot. All right, let's we'll start with the, uh, with the handle here. Take this guy apart and I don't think we'll be able to salvage the leather. Um, as you can see, it was holding on with tape and stuff because it was starting to come apart already. But let's see what we got here. Yeah. All that leather is trashed, so we'll just cut it off. Make it all right. So let's see here. There we go. So these scales, I guess, were just glued on, maybe. It doesn't even seem to be any glue. Um, they just look like cheap pine. Might be able to reuse the scales. We'll see. Oh, the leather's glued onto the wood. Seems to be the only thing that was holding them on, though. So that's not great. So once we clean this up, get everything done, we'll put some epoxy in there. See if that'll hold better. So we'll just set these aside for now. We don't need those. Um, here's the guard. Pretty wanged up. Bent. All kind of weird way, so um, yeah. So what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna slide this guard down onto here, and then weld this um, together, and then grind everything flat, and then slide this back up into place. Since normally the pommel would be the last thing to go on, so this this would be all together already, and then the pommel this would the uh, cross guard would slide on, and then the pommel would be welded on. So I don't know if you can see, it looks like the pommel was held on with with brass or bronze or something in there. So that's kind of cool. So all right, let's get these parts cleaned up and see what we can do. That guy looks better. We'll polish it up like properly later once we get it all put back together, but just want to get it looking kind of right. You want to make sure you get your quillions really sharp so you can stab people. Just kidding. Do not do that. Make sure those have nice rounded ends on them. You see that's a nice thick, at least a millimeter thick edge on that, or at least a three millimeter edge on that, whatever. I like to keep it sort of at least as thick as your sword blade because you know that's not going to hurt anybody. Um, well, it will hurt them, but less likely to. All right, clean these up with some acetone. Um, get to welding. Okay, we got the welding set up here. We got the sword. There's that. Got it all lined up. 
There's my little welder. So let's see if this inch and a half weld can pay for that welder. How is that? That's a hundred bucks on Amazon. It does pretty good for most things I need. I don't use it too heavy. This is a hundred and ninety dollar sword. So if I can fix this with that inch and a half inch weld, then this is more than paid for. So let's see how we do. Okay, we've done the weldy bit. Um, I hit it with the grinder to clean up my super ugly weld because I have no idea how to weld. Um, so, yeah, I've only welded a few times, so pretty happy. Looks like it penetrated through. Uh, you can see where I screwed up and there's a little bit of inclusion there, hole or whatever the fuck that is. I burned it, I guess. Um, but, you know what? I have a sword that's in one piece now, so that's cool. And yeah, for all you guys out there that are saying, well, oh, you screwed up the temper, it's not going to be temper great anymore, it's not hardened great. Right. Yeah, so okay, uh, I got a sword. Maybe it's not tempered right, so I don't have a way to do that. Now, I didn't have a sword before, now I have one, so we'll see how long it lasts. Uh, if nothing else, it was a good experience to try to learn, you know. So, let's see what we need to do to put this back together. Slide this uh, guard back down into place. Put some uh, scales on and wrap it up. Alright, so, got that back in place. Um... Had to put a device and basically hammer it back into place. It's nice and snug now. I like it a lot. Um, it's way more secure than it was before. Um, handle scales, I got them cleaned. Well, not cleaned up, but I pulled the leather off. Uh, you can see this side went towards the pommel because it's rounded to fit the pommel. So what has happened is, over time, I guess, in use, these got squished a little bit, which allowed there to become a gap up there um at the guard and that was moving all over the place so i, I don't think I, i'm going to use these i think i'm going to make new ones that fit nice and snug in there keep that tension up on that uh additionally i am going to put some pins through here i'm just going to drill two holes all the way through pin it up and also epoxy it because even after I didn't have the sword very long, I could feel these scales moving around under there. It was kind of, it wasn't really a hindrance, it was just annoying. So, that's what we're going to do. So I got plenty of scrap plywood laying around, so let's try that. All right, so we got our handle scales roughed out. Um, just trimmed them up, sanded them to get that round shape on them. This one I actually had to tap in with a hammer, so it's nice and snug. I like it. What I'm going to do now is take some blue tape, tape these up so they don't move, drill my holes for my pins, 
um, which I'm just going to use eight penny nails to do that to pin them. I'm going to then take it all apart, um, throw the epoxy in there, tape everything up, be done with it. Um, well, and then shape up the handle so I don't have this fucking block of wood. So, uh, might be going about it in the wrong order, but yeah, that's what I'm going to do. All right, got my holes drilled finally. Um, pins, these are gonna work out nice. So let us disassemble this. Pretty sure I did that in the wrong order. Pretty sure it would have been easier to uh, just throw epoxy in there when I tape this and then drill it and pin it later, but whatever. This is what we got, this is what we're going with. Offside, actually, holy shit. Well, that was embarrassing. Hey, we're on the wrong sides, and it wasn't covering the metal. So, yeah, don't do that to yourself. That could have been bad. Okay. Alright, I'm just gonna grab some clamps, wipe it up, let it dry. Alright, so this is uh Foxy has set up. So that's what we got there. So let's uh cut these nails off. Um start shaping this handle so it's you know, usable, not a giant fucking block of wood. Ah, oh, gotta plug that in. That would help. So we're going to get a sander with some pretty aggressive sandpaper and go to town on this thing, try to get it the right shape. Okay, so we use the grinder a little bit, we use the sander, use some hand sand paper, um, got this to a uh, Good feel. You know, it feels nice in the hand. It's got a little swell in the middle. Tapers down towards the end. It's not perfect, but and you know what? I'm going to beat this up. Um, got to fight Chuck this weekend, so this thing's going to get beat to hell. Um, I'm going to throw some linseed oil on that. Let that soak in. Um, that'll condition the wood, harden it up. And uh, yeah, we'll see where we go from there. So. Went from a worthless chunk of steel to sword that I'm going to use. Um, I'll probably put a little bit of work into the metal too, with some high grit sandpaper and just polish it up a little bit, make it look a little bit nicer. It's pretty beat up, but that's that's what we got. We went from a couple chunks of broken steel to something that hopefully I can use this weekend. Uh, by the time you see this, it may be last weekend. 
who knows but I'll give you an update let you know how this thing holds up with my mm, mediocre welding skills and somewhat alright woodworking so thanks see you guys next time let me know what you want to see peace